Hey everyone, David here again with the Fragrance Bros here with another video in my basic series where we answer all your questions about the basics of fragrance and cologne and all of that. Today, we are asking and answering the question, why don't you wanna wear Axe body spray or any other body spray for that matter? So I have another video that was very popular on why not to wear Axe body spray. I'll have it linked here. That video goes into a longer explanation and analysis of why you don't want to wear Axe body spray. Today I want to also answer that but in a little bit shorter form. And I want to again ask a question to answer the question. So my question is, what's wrong with wearing socks with sandals? Or what's wrong with wearing scrubs for pants? Or what's wrong with wearing the dad uniform? graphic tee, cargo shorts, and flip-flops. Now, I think you already know the answer to that question, and you know where I'm going with that. There's nothing wrong with actually wearing those things, but when someone wears an outfit like that, it sends a message that could be sort of almost taboo. It could send the message that you look lazy or disheveled and unkempt in your appearance. It could send the message that you're just not with it, that you don't know what you're doing. Now, all of those things may not even be true, but the fact of the matter is that every time you wear something, you send a message to someone and someone is judging you by that. The same is true with the way that you smell. I always want people to smell their best, to wear quality fragrances that they love, they fall in love with, that affect the people around them. And Axe Body Spray does definitely have an effect on people, but it's not the effect that you want to have on people. Now, it seems that Axe Body Spray was intended for a younger crowd. A lot of times, high schoolers will wear this and they'll douse themselves in it, especially after gym class. And so, the prevailing opinion about Axe Body Spray is that it's young and that it's immature. I'm not judging anybody if they buy Axe Body Spray. But let me go over some of the reasons why not to wear Axe Body Spray. Now, the first reason is that it's very diluted. There is a various degree of concentration of oils in fragrances that you wear. But body sprays have one of the lowest concentrations of oil. What that means is it's not going to last as long, it's not going to project as much. Now contrast that with say a traditional cologne that you can get in the store. Those are 10, 15, 20, 25 times as strong as a body spray. They're going to last much longer, they're going to typically smell better, and ultimately, as we'll see in a minute, they'll be cheaper in the long run. The second reason is that these body sprays are very cheap. They're cheaply made and they smell cheap. Now we all understand the cost point here, but you really get what you pay for. Oftentimes these body sprays are clones of popular fragrances. And even if you compare the body spray with the clone with a traditional fragrance, the traditional fragrance is much, much better. If you're buying something to smell great to start with, with a cologne, they're putting more of their money into the quality of the ingredients, into the design of it. You're gonna smell a lot better for just not much more money. The last reason is just the cost. Now on the surface, the cost comparison looks like there's no question here that Axe or a similar body spray would be much cheaper. It's very, very inexpensive, less than five bucks American. In the long run though, you're actually not getting the value out of a fragrance with body spray as you would a traditional cologne. As I've said, these body sprays are very diluted. So ultimately what you get is a fragrance that won't last long, that won't project, that smells cheap and what you'll have to do is you'll have to put more of it on which wastes more of it and so you'll be spending more of your money on the body sprays and contrast that to a traditional fragrance you put on just a few sprays usually last six to eight hours sometimes 10 to 12 hours depending on the fragrance that you get and you don't have to spend a lot of money either with a traditional fragrance you could spend 20 or 30 dollars under 50 dollars easily and that fragrance is going to last all day long it's gonna get a lot of compliments, it's gonna smell a lot better, and you're gonna present yourself in a much better way. For those of you out there who are on a really tight budget who just want to smell nice and see the temptation of an Axe body spray, what I would say is save up your money for a couple of weeks or a a couple of months or however long it takes and buy a traditional cologne. That cologne could last you all year long if you're, if you're very careful with it and it will smell just a lot better. Now conversely, over that same time period, if you were to buy body sprays, you could easily spend multiple times uh, the price of a traditional cologne wearing body sprays. Meaning that you're gonna spend three to five times as much more money 
on a body spray than you would on a cologne. The cost is much, much better for a cologne and it smells just immensely better. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions that you'd like me to answer for this basic series, send me an email. I have my links down below. You can email me there and I'll get to your questions and I'll answer them in future videos. Of course, thank you to Fragrance X for sponsoring this video. Fragrance X is a great place where you can go find fragrances for you to wear. They have thousands of legitimate fragrances at a reduced price. I really trust them. I've bought from them before, so I really recommend them. So definitely go check out Fragrance X. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching. Watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm David with Fragrance Bros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.